What's up, Beamer Bros? Thank you very much for joining us once again. We really appreciate your support. So if you really enjoy our videos, go ahead and hit the subscribe button and hit the bell icon to stay up to date on all the builds. Today we're starting the new build series. It's the M62 in an E30, and that E30 is mine. So it's gonna be extra special for me to actually build this from the ground up. I've already done a little bit of work, so don't pay attention to that. I'm filming this after the fact of a few things, but regardless, I'm gonna be showing you from beginning to end. And my brother and I are gonna be tackling a lot of the wiring too, so if you guys are following along, hopefully it's helpful to your build too. So let's tackle it, let's get it started. I'm really stoked, so we hope you enjoy it. All right guys, huge tip for you guys out there doing this at home. Do not make the same mistake I did. I just bent and broke the oil squirters installing the pistons. You see those there? Those are directly in the way of the piston when you're installing it. So when you've already tightened down the rings and you're going to put it in into the into the actual cylinder, it'll 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 crash into that for sure. And I broke one and I had to weld Weld it back together. I don't know if you can see it very well. I took it out of here and welded it back together. I used a TIG weld, TIG welder, so it'll. It was very delicate work, <laughs> not fun. So either take them out or putting put them in at an angle. That's what worked for me. Scratch what I said about leaving those squirters in. Take them out. Honestly, it's not worth the trouble to go through and probably breaking each one of these because you forgot they were there. 
take them out. Trust me. Trust me, trust me, trust me. the last connecting rod installation and I just wanted to make a quick note for those of you that have never done this before or are unfamiliar with how this is actually um, installed without mixing things up so these these connecting rods are the broken style and when I say that I mean that these two pieces the, the end cap or this cap and the rod itself they're broken when they're manufactured. They basically snap the ends off so that they're they mate up when you're when you're uh, installing them, and it actually makes for a better fit. So when you put them together, you should see that they meet. They meet very snug. They're like a puzzle piece. You know what I mean? You can't put them any other way. All right. So if you look closely. That little gap is gonna like basically disappear. See it? And it's gone. That's because we put it on right. We made sure that we're using the right cap to the right rod. It's always good to mark them though if you don't know or if you're not really sure when you're actually taking it apart. Guys, we are at my favorite part, the head install. We've got the rotating assembly already installed. The piston is generally in the top dead center uh, position. I mean generally because it's not exact yet because we have no reference point, but we know that it's at the very top. So let's go over to the head so you can see what we're working with. We've got this head that we still need to lock and this one's already locked. So I'll just show you how it looks. Um, this one's pointing up, the A is pointing up, the E is pointing up, I hope you can see that. And we just have to lock this one in the same manner, clean them up, and get them on the block.
Dreamer Bros, that's gonna be it for this one. We put the heads on the block, make sure the timing was locked to make sure everything was good. But we're gonna stop here because I still haven't torqued it down. I just wanna be absolutely sure that um, all the procedures that I had to follow before this point were spot on. Last thing I want is for me to miss one thing and have to go all the way back and redo it all. So that's where we're gonna stop here in this one. So if you haven't already, please subscribe, hit the bell icon, you already know what to do. And thank you very much for your support and see you on the next one. Take care guys. Oh.